Greetings! Globelings and Flat Earthers! Man, we got a good one for you today. So I just got the haircut today. Whoa! And we're doing the commercial shipping routes. Yes. I am an owner of a commercial shipping line today. You're going to learn a thing or two. Okay. Oh, it's just, it feels so good. We did the beard, everything. It was just, and we got the red racer after hours. So it says, the Red Racer Spirited Series okay, of the classic old-fashioned whiskey cocktail blending Lahin McKinnon single malt whiskey with orange peels and cherries makes this pale ale worth sneaking out for. Okay. So I don't know, it's a little cold, so we're gonna put the lid back on here. Okay, this is going to be great. The commercial shipping routes. It's going to be nuts. Okay. Try this stuff out. So, orange peels and cherries. I actually don't like it. I had one while I was waiting for the rain to stop. But you know what? It tastes better after you've had one. It's the type of beer. You have to be a little bit buzzed to drink it. Just straight from the start, it's not that good. But now it's starting to taste better. Map. Okay, so let's do some explanation. That's Australia. Okay, Australia. And this is the west coast of South America. Look at that distance. On the globe, it's a lot smaller, okay? Well, guess what? There's no commercial shipping routes. None. That go from the whole west coast of Australia, of uh, South America to Australia. In fact, they have to stop at these little islands here. Okay? Those are called uh, the Cook Islands and the Navigation Islands. The Navigation Islands. Think about that. Okay, you have to stop there, even when they're coming from the States. Okay, they go like that. They got to stop to get to Australia. So the States, they got to go there. They don't even go direct to Australia from the US. So the cutoff is around here. And then nothing from here goes to Australia. And you can see for obvious reasons. Okay, it's that simple. Commercial shipping routes totally debunk the globe. Straight up, that's it. That's practical data. There's no way you can debunk that. And there was a controversy back in the 1800s 
when Gleason wrote his book and there's a chapter in it how the business owners just wait the business owners how they were fighting with the ship captains because they were saying hey you live on the globe you should be able to make uh, let's say 10 trips per month well the ship captain is saying no man <laughs> we can make six trips per month max okay so why would that controversy exist hey paulo <laughs> there's this crazy guy paulo salucci and the guy's cracked like i put him in a straight jacket too just like i did to the other guy that I mentioned in the other video, um, who actually helped me come up with F over 2 pi. Then he went in the straight jacket because he lost. And same with Paulo now, because we were looking at uh, Captain Cook's journeys. So you're talking Captain Cook did it in three parts to go around, and it took him 60,000 miles, okay, in three segments. And three years and eight days. Well, that lines up so perfectly with the distance around the 78th latitude, which is around 47,000 miles, I think. I'll do the calculation and put the number up. But yeah, so with the extra distances that they had to do, let's take off. 13,000 miles, whatever, if it was that much. And uh, yeah, it took him three years and eight days, Cook. And that only makes sense on the flat earth map. You see, Paulo, you're done. So poor Paulo Salucci, he debunked himself again. He's in a straitjacket right now. He's literally. He, I don't know what he's doing. He's just talking to his cell phone now. He can't even type. He's sucking his thumb just sitting there because he just can't believe what hit him. Okay, this is what hit him. So I have to ask people, why would this be the logo for the World Bank? And what is the United Nations? It's a front organization for the World Bank. Who doesn't know that? Okay, you can look that up. So... Both of them have this as their logo. What, are they stupid, Paulo? Come on, okay? This is the map. <laughs> it's a navigation map. And it was called the Air Age map. <laughs> I'm getting over it. I had a little bit of a cold for a few days. Um, Anyways, so it's the navigation map, period. And it's the war map. If you're going to war, this is the map you use. <laughs> so what, now what? Follow? Come on. If this is the war map. I've got a picture in my last, my New Year's video with Hitler. <laughs> Using this map with a freaking magnifying glass, okay? So you would think that all the military leaders, of course, that's the map they use, period. It's the official map of the USGS. It's a flight tracking map. Okay, it's the map. Okay, for navigation purposes, this is the map. The other thing, okay, navigation is all as if you're on a flat sheet of paper, as if the world was flat, plain sailing. That's what navigation is, okay? You don't navigate as if you live on this uh, ball, okay? Okay, this is stupid. Okay, you don't navigate with this. Okay, nobody does. Let's see how good it bounces. Okay, that's the globe. Uh, it's fake. Okay, this is reality. So I was getting my hair cut today and the beard and a guy in the chair, older guy, he was there with his wife. It's a men's place, but she got in there. When he left, he goes, 
Come on, woman. It's time to go. That <laughs> was so amazing. But he saw my this. And he goes, ah. So, is it round? It's flat. He said it's flat. He goes, yeah, everybody knows. His exact words. But my barber and the other barber, no, they were like, they were, you know, ball huggers. But I talked some sense into them. I said, hey, right now, he goes, where's your proof? I said, it's right here. It's all around you. Just look around. Are you, are you moving 1,000 times faster than a speeding bullet? No. Ha, that's insanity. Okay, you're not. So, right there, that has to tell you how stupid the globe model is. Okay, so let's just do a little review here. Um, we're just going to talk about a model. Because okay, people don't know what a model is. This is the video is done. I just wanted to show the commercial shipping routes today. Show off my haircut. And my first time ever in my life having a beard trim. Okay, and I love it. I love it. It's so much better than shaving. <laughs> shaving, you scratch the skin. It's, it's just terrible. So anyways, um, we're going to talk about a model today because people don't know. So a model, what is it based on? Facts. What are facts? Observations, experience, and measurements. Now, is the globe model based on a single fact? No, not even one, okay? If anybody knows one fact that that model is based on, please, I'm all ears, let me know, okay? There's no facts to it, so they don't have a model, okay? It's all based on life. Anybody can invent something and say, oh, see, it works. Look, I got math. Okay, but we got lies. For instance, their model says parallel light. There's no parallel light. If there was, okay, you got this here. Okay. So there's this thing called the Terminator line, right there. Okay? The Terminator. Think about that. That means when it's getting from dark into light, it's going, it's happening across the entire ball at once. Is that what you see when the sun sets or when it rises? No. Okay. When the sun sets, for example, it gets dark from all around. And the last thing to go is the small local sun. Done. Okay, that's observation. So when people say, oh, where's your proof? I told this one guy, uh, Asian hippie, and I told him to put the crack pipe down because he's making no sense. He comes on and he goes, oh, wow, yeah, where's your model? Prove you have more. I said, look around. I said, it's all around you. You're living in it. And he didn't even understand that a model has to be based on observations and experience. So look around you. Are you moving right now in five different directions 1,000 times faster than a speeding bullet, but you don't know it? Okay. Are you stupid? Okay. That's one thing. How about flat water? Look around. You show me water on a ball. Okay. It's always flat. Okay. The horizon. You go up 100,000 feet. It's flat. I mean, it stays at eye level, halfway across your screen. That's perspective. So that never changes. If you're on this, the higher you go, this line across your screen has to drop, has to go down. It doesn't ever go down. So where's your ball? And in the state of Georgia, some freak from the Globe Religion tried to sue Zen Garcia and he lost after three court cases because he couldn't prove there was a curve. There is no curve. Try to prove it in a court of law, you'll lose. 
that you can't prove something that doesn't exist. And that's why he lost in court. Simple as that. So, what can I say? All right, this is a joke. It doesn't exist, it's a toy, okay? It's a freaking ornament, all right? You don't navigate with a ball. Okay? You navigate with a flat map, okay? So a model is based on observation and experience. Are you moving right now? No, okay. How does the water look out? You know, what do you know about water? It's always flat, always. What are you gonna do? So those two things right there is done. Okay, that's it. That's all you need. So he goes, write me up your model. Oh, I he the Asian uh, hippie. So I told him to put the crack pipe down. He goes. So I told him. I said, hey, this is my model. It's flat. And there's a small local sun that circles above. Done. That's the whole entire model right there. Okay. It's that simple, because that's what you observe. The sun moves. If you put a stick in the ground and you measure the shadow where it goes, okay, throughout the day, let's say every half an hour, put a little X, put a little X, you get a curve like this. It goes around a curve. Think about that a curve. All right, that tells you the sun is circling around. And how else do you know? The midnight sun. All right, the midnight sun is a circle and I really stumped this guy a polite guy I uh, pinned his comment to my video where I said you're gonna have 12 hours of light every day well I said that because the tilt contradicts itself okay so when you're tilted away from the Sun in the winter and you're coming out of darkness you're up here well the Sun is gonna peer down so at noon it's going to appear at its lowest level, like it's setting. And I told him, I said, look at the Burj Khalifa. People say you can see the sunset twice. It's true. You can see it once on the ground and get up in that building, and then you'll see it twice by the time you get to the top. It's that tall. So think of how many thousands of miles this is. Okay, there's your ecliptic. And look at the thousands of miles. So now you're tilted towards the sun here. So it makes sense. You go down during the day. So at noon, which is right there, the sun is going to be up there it's to you. Okay. But when you're tilted away from the sun, okay, and here's the sun over here, you're going like that. The sun has to appear down. Ha! There's no way around that. And so he hasn't gotten back to me, this other guy on that but he did think it was an excellent observation so we'll see what happens There's, they don't write about this in the globe religion because it's a contradiction so that's why i said 12 hour days because in a model you can't have a contradiction the tilt contradicts itself period so it cannot be included in the model because it debunks the model so you can't have it so at most if you want to keep your spin you're gonna have 12 hour days. It was that simple. So anyways, um, all my videos, you know, they're unscripted, they're experimental, so whatever. But yeah, so that's a model. People don't know what a model is. The globe religion does not have a working model. They don't have a model, period. They don't have a legitimate model. A model has to be based on observation, experience, okay, those kind of things. Name one thing that the globe is based on that you can you observe water on a ball? Come on! Okay, where's the curve? All right? When the sun, um, when it sets and you got that reflection on the water that goes right to the shore? Come on! It has to be flat for that. If you were on a ball, it doesn't matter how big 
at some point when it's setting, the curve is going to take over. And that, that reflection will not reach all the way to the shore. Done! Right there. And all it takes to destroy the globe model is one point like that. Just one. And it's over. Okay? So, maybe... <laughs> this is great. It's going all right. And I'm really feeling that beer. It's got whiskey in it. And you know it gets better. It's that type of beer. Don't judge it from when you first drink the first one. It's gross. It's kind of like uh, drinking cough medicine or something, which I would never do. But you know, after a while, when you get a little buzz, it grows on you. So Let's see if we can draw the setting sun a little bit. Just to clarify. Stupid globe model always becomes itself. Hi there. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do the sunset. Yeah. See? And it just shrinks away, just like that. It gets dark all around, from the sides, from the top, until it just shrinks away to nothing. Impossible. On the globe, in their model, if you got that terminator line that goes across the entire globe, and your visible horizon, what you see is just like a tiny sliver of that, you know, all across your visible horizon, it would have to get dark simultaneously at the same freaking time from as far as you can see on either side. Done, case closed. That's called observation. There's no way out of that. Paulo! Salucci! Can't get out of that. So, this is the map. Okay? There's no way out of that. Okay, so what did we leave out? I lost track. I know it's a good video, but I just I lost track a little bit. Um, we did models. We did commercial shipping routes. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, we did the sunset. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do the zigzag. This is the one. Okay, this is the bonus at the end of the video. Hey there. Good, very good. Doing a flat earth video. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the other debunk. Instant debunk. I mean, aside from the fact that I've already proved all the Antarctica videos are fake. Okay, and if you find just one of them to be fake, they're all fake. Now, guess what? And the Amundsen, supposedly near the geographic South Pole, that video, what did they used to do before they got into CGI and the fake sun and all that? Um, what did they do? They cut out for like I think 22 month long videos, so one month, 22 times, every single day, they were cutting out. 6 to 11 hours. <laughs> so they're trying to show you they got a 24 hour sun there with shadows going around flags and they had their little timer there and you could see they were cutting out half the day. Every single day. Why? If you got the sun to show, why cut it out? Done right there. Okay, so I've done the most thorough detailed debunk of the fake Antarctica videos on the internet right now. And that's at flatearthclassroom.blogspot.com. Okay, Check out the back. Okay, it's very important, I just want to mention, before I get into this last final debunk, um, the Corvella study. Corvella, C-O-R-V-E-L-A, Italy, a while, a while ago, maybe a little over a year ago, 
had an uprising. Hundreds of thousands of people hit the streets and um, they fired the government. They fired the whole entire government in Italy and the Corvella labs found out in the vaccines they don't even have any uh, <laughs> any of the ingredients that they were saying like the antigens like for polio or this or that none of that was in there and even unknown things that the lab couldn't identify now to do this analysis you'd have to spend tens of thousands of dollars literally and now this is out in the open so maybe i'll add that clip to the video as well why not uh, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny talks about it. I'll put the link to the Corvella YouTube channel. This is so huge, it's just, it's not even funny. So, it brings me to Mickey Ukaku, the freak. Okay, that guy, I'll tell you who his parents are. I know his parents, okay, Mickey Ukaku's parents. I'm going to reveal that to you right now, and you cannot disagree. Okay, the mom? Guess who the mom is of Mickey Kaku? Okay, and he did a video combining flat earth and vaccines. Mickey Kaku, who's the mom? Whoopi Goldberg, right? And E.T. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's Mickey Kaku. Whoopi Goldberg and E.T. Period. And that produces Mickey Kaku. And we'll do another one for uh, that black guy half black guy with a, oh I know that black guy whose parents are it's the same ones I just thought of it right now okay Neil deGrasse Tyson's parents get ready yes Whoopi Goldberg is one but who's the other one Burt Reynolds ah! Burt freaking Reynolds and Whoopi Goldberg they made because you can tell by his mustache they made uh, Neil deGrasse and Tyson, and uh, Mickey Kaku, of course, was Whoopi Goldberg with E.T. Done! That's it. So that's a simple debunk. Now let's get to the good part. When the tilt is away, okay, so the sun is here, all right, the sun, and the tilt is away from the sun. What's going to happen in their fake 24-hour uh, Antarctica videos? What's going to happen? You're coming up like this from light, okay, in, from darkness into light. Well, what's going to happen? The sun at noon is going to appear to be at its lowest point. It's going to be reversed. Reversed. Think about that, okay? At noon, the sun is going to appear at its lowest, and then at midnight, it's going to be at its highest. So, I haven't seen anywhere... So they're done right there. But I haven't seen anywhere in globe religion literature, except one TEDx video that wasn't, you know, too clear, but they did specifically state, and they drew three lines over the globe with different heights of the sun as it arcs over, which is not an arc, it's a straight line, just like, um, a jet plane is off in the, let's try it and see. So off in the distance, then I'm going to keep it the same height. See? See how it seems to rise up? And I didn't change the height. Okay, and that's exactly what the sun does. Exactly. It's a, you can do this. I'll include it in this one. Time lapse footage. It's a straight line up to noon and a straight line to set. Done. That debunks the globe right then and there. Okay, because they claim parallel light and the sun's going to arc in their bullshit model. It doesn't exist. Okay, it goes up like that. Okay, so. So we said the one about Antarctica, it's going to appear at its lowest. You can't get out of that. Um, oh, and the zigzag sun. Yeah, they don't account for it. So in that TEDx video, which I guess maybe I'll throw that into. Um, yeah, they tried to say that the tilt 
is related to the height of the sun in the sky throughout the seasons, but they don't really put a lot of detail into it or nothing. They kind of mentioned it. You can't find anything. Okay, but we know with the zigzag sun why it appears to zigzag. Part of the reason is because of this, okay? But you're off center. So you're, the sun is circling. That also proves it circles, the zigzag sun. So you're, so imagine a circle and you're like off center. So the sun is actually getting further away from you and then coming back. That's it. Only if you were right at the North Pole would the sun make a perfect circle. It wouldn't appear to zigzag. Only explained on flat Earth. The globe model is non-working. It's based on lies and assumptions. We covered some of them today. They do not have a model. A model cannot be based on stories, on lies and assumptions, period. Their fake math, of course, I destroyed with F over 2 pi where I put uh, Polster X in the straight jacket. Okay, so I think we're about done. What more can we possibly say? Okay, we killed the globe, it's over. Maybe have a little sit. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of the globe.